Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today Apple announced the new iPhone 4S. Let's take a look. So instead of an iPhone 5, we got the iPhone 4S today. Now, just like when they came out with the iPhone 3GS, the difference between the 4 and the 4S is kind of similar. There's the same screen and exactly the same body design. But there's a new faster processor in it and a better camera. Now the processor is the A5 processor which is the same one that's in the iPad 2. Apple claims it will double the speed of the iPhone and for graphics you may even get up to seven times the speed for better games. The camera is an 8 megapixel camera but also should have better optics and light sensitivity. So we'll have to see how that measures up once it comes out. Now in addition to simply having better pictures we're also going to have better video because the iPhone 4S will be capable of taking 1080p video, the highest high definition video. There's also supposed to be a better antenna design which Apple claims will increase download speeds and be pretty comparable with what other networks call 4G even though it will still use the 3G networks. In addition the phone is going to have both CDMA and GSM inside which means it can be used on AT&T networks and Verizon networks. It's the same exact phone so it's basically a world phone. They can make one model and you can use it on any network you wish. The faster processor also gets us AirPlay mirroring which means you can mirror what's on your screen over your wireless network and on your Apple TV too. So you can actually be playing a game or watching a video or doing anything on your iPhone 4S and have that video projected onto your television through the Apple TV. Now one of the big new features that they're pushing that the faster processor no doubt makes possible is Siri which is a voice activated assistant. You can ask it questions and get answers. Now you can do some of that now asking your iPhone to play a piece of music for you or call somebody but you're going to be able to do a lot more with the iPhone 4S asking just about any question and it will try its best to answer it. Getting directions, making appointments, doing all sorts of things. In addition to that you'll also be able to dictate text. So whether you're doing a text message or an email or anything that uses a keyboard you can actually talk and it will listen to your voice and translate that to text. Now the iPhone 4S will come out on October 14th. That's the next Friday. This Friday you'll be able to pre-order it online. And the price is going to be about the same but there will also be a 64 gigabyte version. Now Apple is going to continue to produce the iPhone 4 and even the iPhone 3GS. The 4 will be only $100 with a phone plan and the 3GS is going to be available as a free phone with some phone plans. Perhaps the biggest piece of news might be the fact that not only will the iPhone 4S be available on AT&T Verizon but also on Sprint here in the United States. And it will be available in both black and white models. Now in addition to the iPhone 4S there's also iOS 5 and iCloud. Both will be coming out on October 12th just two days before the new phone. So these will be available on other devices. It uh, will be available in the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, also the iPads and the two latest generations of the iPod Touch. And iCloud will also most likely be available on Macs at about the same time. So be able to use all the new features that we've talked about for a while such as a photo stream and be able to buy an app or music on one device and get it on the other. So that sums up all the news. As soon as we get our hands on an iPhone 4S we'll have a first look for you. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.